Hi, I'm Marlow from Wild Food UK, out foraging again. It's the uh, 9th of November and I'm in Herefordshire somewhere today. And uh, we've been finding loads of agarics, loads of different types of agaricus mushrooms. So I thought I'd show you three of them that everyone should know about. And uh, they're down here, let's have a close look. One of them I've done a video on before, the other two I haven't. And we'll start with the one I've done a video on before. This is a, a young horse mushroom. See that cogwheel? When people refer to a cogwheel, that's what they mean. On the unopened, closed cupped version of the horse mushroom. Now look at the size of that. It's a lovely big mushroom. And you can see where it's been handled, starting to yellow ever so slightly. there and uh, this this beautiful huge mushroom is uh, the mature version of that a fantastic mature horse mushroom see those gills which are always pink to dark brown when they've uh, fully matured that huge stem skirt on the stem white cap uh, those things tell me I've most likely got a horse mushroom. A little bit of yellow staining again where it's been handled. But the key identifier for this mushroom, as I've said in my other video, is uh, that it has just a wonderful smell of aniseed. And uh, this is a really prized forager's mushroom. It really is very tasty, um, underrated, because I think they're quite common, really. Um, so a great one to know. If you've got these features, stout white stem, skirt on the stem, pink to dark brown gills on a mushroom of this size, not growing from an egg sac or any other strange features, just a giant version of the mushrooms you buy in the shops. If it has that lovely aniseed smell, then you've got a horse mushroom. And that one is a winner. But here we've got a close look-alike this is a young one and this is one that's just opening up and you can see on this one where it's been handled that it's staining more brightly yellow I've actually already cut this one in half because Jordan my cameraman messed up the first take and there you go brighter yellow and if I do the same to this one let's damage the cap see that lovely bright yellow staining if I uh, cut this in half you'll see normally the staining is uh, much more vibrant at the base of the stem so there you go go yellow most places it's damaged but the base of the stem much more yellow than if I cut in half our baby horse mushroom here now that's all my mushrooms jordan that i've cut now don't mess this take up as well <laughs> um, that one's a little bit maggoty unfortunately but uh not enough to put me off i'll cut those base bits off and this horse mushroom is still definitely coming home with me but there you go the yellow stainer agaricus xanthodermis i haven't done a video on this mushroom before uh, but this is the one when you're picking your white agaricus mushrooms your field mushrooms and your horse mushrooms um, this is the one that you need to be aware of because this is the one that will make you sick. Uh, it has, on top of the yellow staining, a distinctive chemically smell. It smells of phenol. I believe there's phenol present in this, just like the moellery, which I did a, a video of not so long ago. So, uh, yeah, and that smell, actually, if you were to put this in a frying pan, that smell would get worse in your kitchen. Um, also, you can uh, dunk these in boiling water and they'll go bright yellow or uh, stick them in a microwave and they'll go bright yellow as well if you're really not sure. But anyway, the yellow stainer, Agaricus xanthodermis. The Agaricus to be aware of if you're picking from this group, the white side of the Agaricus family. Um, now over here, We've got another mushroom I've not done uh, a video of before, and we've got it, I think, here in all stages of growth. Although, if 
you want to pan back a bit, Jordan, this one here is the same mushroom growing close to its uh, healthy looking counterpart, but it's just a bit more weathered. This is an agaricus that will weather quite quickly. It's of the big agaricus. I think it's easily the most delicate of, uh, of that group. So it has a very short shelf life. If you take this home, you want to cook it when you get home. This is the wood mushroom, agaricus silvicola. And uh, you'll see here on this mature one, a good comparison size wise with the, uh, the horse mushroom there. The stem is much, much thinner. This is actually one of the fattest stemmed wood mushrooms I think I've ever seen. And uh, the ring as well, like I say, they're more delicate. This is a sort of middle-aged one here. And you can see the, the ring is almost ephemeral. I love that word. As in it will come off quite easily as it is doing there, almost in the wind. See those pink gills, still a stout stem. And again, the yellowing. As you can see, here, this is the same mushroom. This one's just had a bit more weathering. Like I say, very delicate members of the Agaricus genus. And not really any of that cogwheel. Look how delicate the, the, the ring almost, or well, the skirt there almost looks like a Cortinarius skirt, a web cap skirt, because it's so delicate. And here again, we'll pick this one. You can see the thinner stem than our horse mushroom. Very delicate skirt. It will yellow where I touch it, but nothing like as brightly as our, our yellow stainer did. And again, with our wood mushroom, Agaricus silvicola, the key thing is the smell, because you've got that yellowing on this side of the um, Agaricus group. There's yellowing on the horse mushroom, there's yellowing on the wood mushroom, and there's yellowing on the yellow stainer. But as long as your nose works, again, the wood mushroom has a distinctive and lovely smell of aniseed. And uh, yeah, we've got, uh, I think, enough here for a, a little meal. There's a few more around and with our big horse mushroom. I'm pleased with these. I find the horse mushroom to be the best in the group. And I find the wood mushroom, when you get it fresh and you get it home and you cook it quickly, to kind of be the second best in the group. Um, so, yeah, I'm a happy forager. Just remember, watch out for, if you're picking from this group, watch out for that yellow stainer, Agaricus xanthodermis. There you are. It's odd to be finding all these agarics in November, I must say, um, but still, I'm, uh, like I said, a happy forager. And if you want to find out more, go to www.wildfooduk.com.